Hello, YouTube family. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita. Welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you all so much for the love and the continued support of my channel. You guys, we are on the road to 10K. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so excited. But make sure you subscribe to this channel. If you've been watching these videos, make sure that you are subscribed, okay? So you can support your girl. Make sure notification bell is turned on and make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up if you find any value in the content. Today's video, you guys, is going to be my favorite. When I say my favorite, I don't mince my words. My favorite type of scent, and that is a gourmand. Listen, I love smelling edible. I love smelling sweet. So when I tell you this list is about to just give you all of the gourmand vibes, you don't want to miss this one, all right? <laughs> so without further ado, let's get into this list of amazing gourmand perfumes. Okay, you guys, so the first one up on this list, it is a Harrods exclusive and uh, they literally just sold out. <laughs> so I pray that by the time this video airs, they have it back in stock. I am talking about Oriental Enigma, okay? This is for my Oriental lovers. Are, if you are looking for Oriental Gourmand that is absolutely stunning, this is the one you need to get your nose on. My, my UK babes, I need you to run on up to Harris because they probably have it readily on display. If I'm not mistaken, this series, the Art Nouveau collection by Alexander J is, uh, has five. And there's a vanilla one that I want. Um, I think it's Imperial Peacock that my girl Haley put me on too. Uh, if you, and if you are not following her and you're not subscribed to her channel, I need you to do that because she has amazing content. Hey girl. <laughs> And uh, this second one piqued my interest. And so I reached out to her and I'm like, I think I want that vanilla one, the Imperial Peacock, but have you smelled the Oriental Enigma? Because I was looking at the notes and I'm like, oh my goodness. And she had a sample of it. She let me know, yes, it's good to go. Listen, oh my God. <laughs> this fragrance is beautiful okay so this is definitely a hazelnut fragrance if you do not like the note of hazelnuts this is not going to be for you when i tell you you get literally like fresh cracked hazelnuts in that opening okay and it's sweetened with dates and y'all know i love a date note so this gets so interesting because you have all of this warm spiciness from like there's rum and there's saffron and there's this tonka bean and dates and hazelnuts and then bam, it has this hibiscus flower in it, okay? Such an interesting combination of notes and I love it because I grew up drinking hibiscus tea like more than any type of tea. Don't ask me why. Very weird, very strange. I don't know, but that's just me as a child. And it almost has like this tart scent or note profile to it. It's a little tart and it's got like a powderiness to it. And you know what? They pulled that in and then they paired it with the most beautiful buttery orris root. So you have this gourmand that is sweet, but it's... It's, it's got the sweetness from the dates, which I always feel like when something is sweetened with dates, it keeps it just a little uplifted and it never quite feels like it, it's too heavy and weighs you down, say like a, sh a white sugar note or a black sugar note or honey. Um, beautiful, beautiful gourmand that is giving you all the oriental vibes, I'm telling you. If you, like I said, if you're, if you have a Harrods, you can pop in and smell it, get your nose on it. You can also order this directly from Alexander J. However, <laughs> their price points is a lot higher uh, if you're not going through Harrods. So I hope they have it back in stock and I will try to find a link again. We're praying, Harrods, I need you to get it together. I don't know why this one, this one's probably sold out. It's probably the best one out of the five. I don't know, I'm just assuming, but gorgeous fragrance. Highly recommended, okay? Dates, hazelnuts, 
rum saffron that's all i need to hear okay that is all i need to hear and this one did not disappoint it performs okay the siage is there the performance hours okay you're gonna get a good like seven eight hours on your skin and you're gonna get compliments like the dent this has been in my house for three days <laughs> okay and uh we're already here okay yeah love it oriental enigma check it out okay so the next one up on this list y'all y'all don't let me talk about perfumes this long because i got a lot to get through here all right next one on this list is going to be oh my goodness <laughs> dulce diablo if you saw my last video you already know how i feel about this baby right here if you are a gourmand lover, you must get your nose on this one. This one ain't gonna be for everybody, okay? I can preface that with all my perfumes in my collection. This is very much so an apricot cacao scent. So if you're not a chocolate type of girl um, and you find that you don't typically enjoy apricot, no, this one's not gonna be for you, okay? But if you enjoy those two elements, you must, you must get your nose on this one. It is so sweet and delicious and well blended. When I, for, when I say you literally, you feel like you're eating apricots. Like they have, they have captured the texture of apricots so perfectly because they have like a fresh apricot note in the opening, but they have the dried fruit version of apricot in the mid. And then in the mid, you have this oak moss. And oak moss to me is never really a smell in a fragrance. It is a texture that it lends to a fragrance. And it gives you the texture of like that, you know, when you pick up a dry apricot, it's got like that little, I don't know, powdery, fuzzy texture to it. And you pick up on that texture in this fragrance. The cacao is so delicious, okay? and it sweetens with sugar and honey. Don't let the honey note scare you. Like if you're not a fan of honey, this is not gonna scream like I'm sweetened with honey. I think there's much more of a sugar sweetening component going on here than the honey, but it's delicious. It is, it's boozy. Oh my God, it's got like, I think a cognac, a rum milk or something in the opening. Very boozy in the opening. Performs, okay? But the, the opening is going to like, blow your head off, all right? It's going to blow you away and you're going to be afraid to overspray this. You can overspray it, trust me, okay? Because I felt like, okay, your first time out wearing it, okay, let me just, let me go easy because this this fills the room when you first spray it. But it definitely calms down from that to where it's, it's not gonna be moderate, it's gonna be above moderate, but it's not gonna be this loud beast the whole time. So overspray it because the first time out I wore it, I maybe gave it about, four sprays and I just felt like I couldn't smell it um, as much as I would have liked to throughout the day later on towards the day um, because it was only four sprays but when I oversprayed it like in normal Sharita fashion <laughs> took me throughout my entire work shift I was like you you're salivating when you wear this it smells so good you're gonna smell so edible this is unisex it's very sweet but I almost hear more guys talking about this than females, but females, this in no way leans masculine. Like look at the notes, apricot, sugar, honey. Like there's nothing about this that's gonna give you a masculine vibe. It's just perfectly unisex. It is perfectly unisex. And just, if you wanna smell delectable on a date night, Dulce Diablo, I mean, you're gonna smell like Somebody's gonna be taking bites out of you by the end of the night, trust me. Even if you're just there by yourself, you might take a bite of your own arm, okay? That's how delicious that thing is right there. It's dangerous. So moving on, the next one on the list is going to be one of my favorite layering combos. And that is the one we all love and know, Love Don't Be Shy. And you're going to layer it with your Centra by Memo. Listen, Orange Blossom marshmallow caramel delectable like milk head like this little combo right here this one has the pentagram it does not work for everyone so this one is definitely not blind by safe when i first smelled uh centra i did not so when i say it was a hard no 
This is why it's always good to get your little five mil child because you may need to revisit that in a couple months, which is what I did. And I was absolutely obsessed with it when I revisited it. Like it's crazy how fragrance works and your nose changes and sometimes your nose catches a scent on a bad day. So if you get a two mil and you go ham on a two mil in one go, that may be your only experience with it. You might be missing out on something that you truly love if you give it proper testing. Okay, so I this is a beast. Okay, you do not need to overspray this. You can, but you don't have to. Go in um, your pulse points with your Centra and cover. I'm talking about overspray. Your love don't be shy. You're going to smell so freaking amazing. And where this one has, I will say, moderate performance, this is going to back you up, okay? You spray this skin with your memo and you top it off with this, you're going to smell like orange blossom or mash marshmallow uh, heaven for literally like 10, 12 hours. Trust me, if you love that scent profile, you need these and you need to be layering them. Love, love, love. This is These are like my favorite orange blossoms and uh, gourmand heaven. Okay, you guys. So the next one up on this list is cherry. We have two cherries on this list. To all of my lost cherry haters. <laughs> oh, you wanted to love it, but the performance just wasn't there. I got something that in my opinion is better, okay? This is definitely your boozy cherry, but this one ain't gonna let you down, okay? This is wet cherry liquor and it is by Boho Boco and it's beautiful. Oh my God. It is a beautiful mix. Between, to me, to my nose, this is a mix between a sour cherry and like a sweet cherry. Um, it doesn't get overly sour. Like if a scent just only had the sour cherry. Beautiful, beautiful cherry. And it has a liquor note. I don't know what kind of liquor. It just lists liquor, okay? But it's also got like a sandalwood. I think um, strawberry can be the thing that's lending it a little bit of that, you know, sour quality. But it's got the caramel, it's got sandalwood, vetiver, beautiful. When I say beautiful, and it lasts, it lasts on your skin. It projects, okay? And if you're looking for a cherry to layer, you want to bring out the cherry in your Fev Delicios with cherry liquor. Like this is a straight up and down boozy cherry, but it is so well executed. It performs and this is the one that you need in your collection. I love this. Oh, this one is so beautiful. It is beautiful. Get your nose on it. Lucky scent. They have it. Sample it. Try it. Test it on your skin. And uh, yeah, perfect for fall. If you want to smell sexy, if you want to give it all the cherry, the cherry vibes, a wet liquor cherry is definitely one you need to get your nose on. Okay, you guys. Oh my gosh, we have three cherries. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to our very sophisticated, elevated, like, you know, um, Birkin bag carrying type of <laughs> cherry scent gal. This is going to be Duquesa. This is by the house of Greety. And stunning. This is your cherry that is going to stun. This is not going to be a cherry for everyone. I say that because this is not going to be a linear cherry scent. To me, this is more of a sweet almond scent um, throughout the life of the fragrance. Like the opening, you're going to get cherry. You're going to get the sour cherry in the opening, like for sure. But from there, you get into these gorgeous white florals, which may not be for everyone. Like I said, this is not going to be the cherry for everyone. But if you want something really elevated, sophisticated that still has that gourmand touch without getting too gourmandish um you know this is going to be one you need to check out very very pretty and sophisticated so it's listed saffron in the opening but i don't i get so much saffron in the dry down and i absolutely love it it's almost like a baccarat rouge Lost Cherry, which we all know those two layer beautifully, had a baby and you threw in just, you know, some white florals to give it this air of femininity and to balance it out in a way that you don't typically see in cherry fragrances. 
that is what Duquesa gives. And this lasts so long on the skin. This You will get your eight hours or more with this fragrance. Spray your clothes, spray your skin. You're going to smell like a beautiful elevated saffron, sweet almond cherry girl, okay? For me, the cherry, like it kind of disappears in the mid to me and I'm getting more of a sweet almond, but the final, final dry down, I, the cherry comes back, okay? It's like this Houdini cherry, it comes back and then you're just left with literally saffron, sweet almond cherry and it is absolutely chef's kiss. Again, that is Duquesa by the House of Green Tea and this is available, Lucky Scent. This was very, very, very elusive, hard to get uh, your hands on unless you went through literally like an Italian, uh, you know, uh, distributor, perfume, uh, online store, very hard to get it initially, but now Lucky Scent has it and get your cherry life because I'm pretty sure it's already sold out. <laughs> All right. So next one up on this list. Now, if you've been watching this channel, you already knew this was going to be on here. Blanche bet. I have been raving about this and y'all have been telling me, Sharita, you was right about your girl Blanche Betts. And this is from the house of Liquid Imagineers. Listen, if you're looking for unique scents that are still very wearable and that are beautifully executed, this is the house you need to be experimenting with. Like Blanche Bet is, it's a lectonic, floral cacao type of scent but they have these notes in there that leave so much to the imagination like what the hell is a mystical note I don't know but it's in there and you will literally get like this mystical magical experience when you wear this the sillage on 10 you are going to get so many compliments when you wear this fragrance it does not smell and it does not feel like you are wearing this beast mode scent but the particles I don't know what is going on when you walk through but they stick in that air and they don't move okay I've had people track me down to rooms and hallways and they they they're following literally the sillage they are like what are you wearing what are you wearing had to write this fragrance down for several people that will stop me and ask me. It's the most beautiful, smooth musk. So if you love lectonic, you love musky, you love a little touch of, you know, cacao in there, ugh, girl, get your nose on this fragrance. It will not disappoint you. It's absolutely beautiful, very unique. You don't have anything in your collection like this. Trust me. Um, they have a couple white florals listed, like a tuberose and jasmine, if I'm not mistaken, but this does not smell like a floral, it doesn't, it's not giving you, oh, this is a white floral scent. It's not giving you that. Those are much more in the background and it lends it just this air, this touch of femininity. Um, this is a very bright, frothy, uplifting type of gourmand. It's not, it's lectonic, but it's not dense. And that is why I just find this so unique. Like things with milk notes are very dense typically or um, very heavy wearing. This is not that, okay? This is beautiful, this is stunning. This is truly like a, a gourmand that everyone needs to get their nose on. And I'm absolutely obsessed. If you have purchased <laughs> Blanche Bet for my recommendation, let your other girls know in the comments below what they're missing out on because it is a must, okay? Gourmand that works year round. Year round gourmand. Where do you find that at? Okay. And it's chocolate and it's like tonic. And you can wear it in the summer and the winter. What? Who? What? Where? Blanche Bet Liquids Imaginary. Get your nose on this scent. I'm telling you, magical. Okay. So the next one up on this list is going to be Tried and True Honey New York Nights. Have you ever smelled something so delicious. I don't think so, okay? This is one that when you smell it, your mouth is gonna kinda start watering. Top Accord, baby, it's caramel. When I tell you it is giving all of the caramel vibes, girl, you really trying to do something. And this thing, when I say it lasts, it has amazing performance. I thought that the New York Knights had already said good nights, okay? 10 hours into my work day, I walk into the store, 
to buy some food and the girl literally closed her eyes and had a whole moment and was just like, you smell so good. Girl, you can still smell me? I, I, I mean, I thought literally it was just like a little bit, you know, kind of just slip. No, Siage was still there. It was still projecting. This is what I'm, what I'm telling you. Like, always spray your clothes, people. It gets you through the second part of that day and people are still gonna be giving you compliments. I love New York nights. This is Ylang Ylang. So if you don't like, uh, you know, a Ylang Lang note, this is probably not gonna be one for you, but it is very sweet. You have got to love a very sweet gourmand. And mm, if you have a guy, or, you know, or a significant other that loves a sweet gourmand of you, this is going to be one you need in your collection for date night for sure, because it's just, it's something very special about this when you read the notes you're it's not gonna make sense like marine carnation it's please just don't just if you like caramel if you like ylang ylang <laughs> go ahead and get your notes on this all you need to be concerned with because the other notes are just not gonna make sense to you it's very well blended and it is gourmand perfection okay not gonna be for everyone some people get that nail polish type of vibe um when they smell this because that is just a characteristic of ylang ylang like either you get that from it or you don't fortunately i don't and therefore i am absolutely obsessed with this definitely a fall winter type of scent because it's like it's it's the caramel like tonic you know it's it's dense <laughs> very dense but beautiful gourmand that is you know, perfect for date night. The next one up on this list is truly an obsession in this household. This is What About Pop. I've been so in love with this fragrance and if you follow my channel, you already know that. So this is one who doesn't mind a foodie gourmand because it's foodie in the opening. So you're going to get a true gourmand caramel popcorn note in that opening. And it is so delicious, but it definitely maintains sophistication and, you know, niche quality. It never goes into that childish, like you hear a pop, caramel popcorn note, it automatically just feels and sounds childish to me. Like, and that is why I decided not to try this one for so long. Like I would hear Paulina Shar talk about it on her channel for like a year. And I just wasn't convinced. I was like, oh, I want to try it, but I don't know. Popcorn, what? What are, we, what are we really trying to smell like over here, girl? It's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful because this one is not linear. So you definitely get that caramel popcorn in the opening. It dies down uh, the, the caramel popcorn thing, okay? So in the final dry down, what you're left with is something a little floral. Um, you've got the hawthorne in there. You have the night blooming cerise and you're going to get this gorgeously sweet whipped cream ebony wood and there's still a little bit of caramel left in the base but it's it's going to <laughs> smell more like a a sweet perfume that you would typically find in perfumery not so much of the foodie gourmand that you get in the opening and i absolutely love it it's a little salty it's a little sweet it's a little floral it's a little woody it's a little bit of everything and the house of oud you knocked it out of the park with this gourmand right here that's what about pop get your nose on it it's amazing and i'm obsessed <laughs> all right you guys so the next one is for my girls that love vanilla and a straightforward vanilla you know I have been raving about Escapade Gourmand because this one is just one is for, this is one for the girls that love a sticky sweet, straightforward vanilla. Those two, those are the caveats. If you don't like a sticky sweet, this is not for you. <laughs> don't go near it. If you don't want a straightforward vanilla, you have to have your ani. You gotta have a loon feline type of, you know, complex spicy. This is not for you. This, I like all my vanillas. I love them equally. I don't discriminate. But this is for the girl that, you know, will enjoy that just straightforward, sticky, sweet vanilla. That is what this is. But it is very smooth. It is very well executed. And it smells addictive. Okay? Addictive. So you have black sugar. 
So it's automatically going to give you sugar, but it's car it's got a caramelized smell. So you're, it's like you're cooking sugar and it's right at that brown butter fade. Like it's almost like you're, you smell like brown butter sugar. Like that is what you smell like cooked brown butter sugar. You've got some, um, a little bit of benzoin in there. So you have a slight amber quality and you've got taco bean. Okay. And the rest is, is sugar and vanilla. Like if you, if that sounds appeasing to you, appealing to you, you could blind buy this one and you will be a okay. The performance moderate projection is sillage. Like if you, if you are familiar with Tejota, it's going to give you around about that same type of performance. Like it's going to last if you overspray this and people will smell you and give you compliments if they are within arm's reach. I walked into a um, restaurant, pick up my food at work the other day. And I honestly didn't expect for the person at the end of the bar to smell me and the person checking me out across the counter to like it was projecting because she could smell me down here and she could smell me right here. This lady over here was three arm lengths away. The lady in front of me was about one and a half and they both like instantly when I walked up and stopped and they were like, what are you wearing? <laughs> what you're wearing girl? Because you smell delicious. Escapade Gourmand, get your nose on the scent. The dent is there because I'm obsessed. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna need a new bottle of this one. Um, you know, by end of winter at the rate we're going, I'm gonna try to slow down and and reserve her and preserve her. But I love it. Escapade Gourmand by Mason Mataha. The last one up on this list is going to be Venom of Love. And I say last but not least, this is your chocolate cherry for so long <laughs> i had been layering my chocolate greedy with my little you know lost cherry decan and i'm just like why won't somebody just make a chocolate cherry scent thank you navitas thank you paulina i'm sure there are you know perfumes out there that that have that but i didn't have any and i wasn't really aware of any so i was just always layering my chocolates and cherries you don't have to do that anymore just get this <laughs> venom of love it is a boozy cherry, very sour cherry, okay? It's sweet, it's not overly sweet. The thing performs, it lasts all day, it projects, it is oh, so delicious, okay? If you like a the idea of a chocolate cherry, you're going to love this, okay? It's got some other elements in there that help blend and balance it out. But to me, it all comes together with the delicious almond cream. And that is what I love so much about this. Like this perfume is going to be perfect for, you know, a good like club night, sexy date night. Like if you're trying to smell edible and you love sour cherry notes, this one you must get your nose on. And I'm actually quite excited about maybe you know, layering these together or layering these to get like, listen, I'm about to get my whole cherry life this fall. Literally the first cherry fragrance I ever had in my collection was Love Fest. You know, I had tried Lost Cherry and I just was so disappointed. I was like, well, maybe I just don't want to smell like cherries. And then I got Love Fest Burning Cherry into my collection. I was like, oh, I can smell like a cherry because this burning cherry with the with the whole praline and all of that, I was loving it. So I've added quite a few cherries into my collection. Um, you know, just, just, just have better performance and it's giving me more. Yeah, as of late, I've been on a cherry kick. So Venom of Love, check it out. Extra Day perform, performs lots of bang for your buck at this price point. And girl, Paulina Shar, you did the damn thing with this one, all right? You guys, so that is my video for today. Drop me a list below. Let me know some of your favorite gourmands. Like, this is the time to bring them out. So I'm super curious to know which are the ones you can't wait to, to wear when it, you know, cools down or if it's already cooled down where you are, what are you pulling out, all right? It has been real. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Make sure notification bell is turned on. Make sure that give the video a big thumbs up helps me with the algorithm. I love you all and I'll catch you on the next one.